Now, France attracts more tourists than any other country, but one gripe heard around the world can be about the cost of hotels and the service there. Now, five Paris hotels are inviting guests to pay what they want until August the 10th. Now, for a city with a reputation for surly waiters and bad service, it's a pretty risky venture. Or is it a great marketing ploy? Apparently, there is a real economic science to putting the customer in control. Let's talk to Joe Gladstone, who's a behavioural scientist at the University of Cambridge. Joe, thanks for joining us. Um, so, what do you make of this idea? Is there evidence that's worked before? Could it work, do you think? Well, there's certainly evidence that, and lots of examples of where it has worked and is working right now, particularly in music, video games, areas that have low overheads. You can attract a much larger section of the market by allowing people to pay what they feel is the value for your product. But what if those people just end up not paying at all because, quite frankly, they want to save a few pennies or they think you're overpriced? Well, if we were to take a traditional economics view of how this works, then yes, people would pay nothing. Why would people pay more for something than they have to? I mean, that doesn't make any sense, does it? But actually, we know that people care a lot about fairness. They care a lot about each other. They want to be liked by each other. And I think that when we start recognising that we're social creatures and that we're not just motivated by money and motivated by like simplicity like that, then we really start to understand why this model works. Is that really the case, though, Joe? I mean, you sound so positive about people and about human nature. I'm a little bit more cynical. Well, if you look at Radiohead's album that they released in the late 2000s called In Rainbows, that was um, released on a pay-as-you-want model, and it made more money than all of their previous albums together. And so if you start thinking that actually, is it the novelty or is it the psychology? Well, at least for all these situations, it's both. So it will take a bit of time for us to recognise what is actually driving this real energy and interest in this area. So these French hotels, you think, have got it right? They're moving in the right direction? Well, I mean, no one's really looked at the French hotels before. I think that it is a risky um, bet because obviously it's very expensive to supply all the things that go into a high quality hotel service. But if it works in all these other areas, I'm certainly hopeful that it could work in hotels. And there has been a study on this, hasn't there, that you are talking to me about a little bit earlier? Yeah, there's a great study done in the US by a guy called Yuri Nisi and others where some academics took over one of those um, uh, picture stalls at a roller coaster and they offered people to pay what they wanted for the picture of them screaming down the roller coaster. And what they found is actually huge amounts of people did take up the pay-as-you-want picture, but they paid a very low price. But if they were also offered to get the picture and that some money would go to charity, then people paid enormously more and they made a lot more money. So it's all kind of connected about how people feel about you know, charity and each other and social interactions. It's a very heartwarming way of looking at human nature, Joe. Thank you very much indeed for joining us here on World Business Report.